restaurant app Toast versus Olo. The stocks of many IPOs in the 2021 class have dipped at least 40% since release, and some even more than 67%. Olo went public last 29th of January and has currently fallen 74% from its initial price. Toast is another company in this category, with a current market price decline of 67% since it was initially released on February 4th. In the restaurant software industry, both Toast and Olo are thriving. Toast specializes all applications a restaurant may need, while Olo provides software that optimizes those digital tools. The question is, which company would be the better investment? Luckily for you, Fortune Fastlaner, be prepared all the things you need to know about the restaurant app Toast and Olo. Find out here which is a better buy. The opening bell on the New York Stock Exchange is about to strike, and stocks have a good week. Let's look at a few companies that are in trouble this year. Here's what you need to know about Toast and Olo. The ticker for the company Toast is trending. In the pre-market, the stock popped by 19%. People are checking out this company, and we encourage everyone to check them out too. Toast, a company focused on technology in restaurants, reported 40% more locations than last year. What is more intriguing is the outlook. There is not enough reward for companies who are losing money in this market. Toast provides point-of-sale services. Not only can a restaurant use Toast to order food, but it offers everything that a restaurant needs, including payroll management and capital loans. This means that not only is there more room for a restaurant to expand its usage of Toast, but they also would have high switching costs. Toast has 68,000 locations and is growing rapidly, but there are still more Olo restaurants out there. Toast made $675 million in the second quarter due to its increased use by restaurants. This growth is much higher than what Olo achieved in the same period. If it continues to lose lots of money, Toast may be in trouble. They had a net loss of $140 million to $160 million for the year and have lost more than $225 million in the past year. They acknowledge that restaurants are operating in a challenging environment. Toast, as of this point in time, is trying to ensure that they have more opt-in restaurants. More restaurants in New York City are using technology to make their checkouts more seamless. We think this will increase with small businesses as the barriers to use pay processing software are lowering. It's also beneficial for restaurants to have this because it encourages quicker table turnover. If users are waiting for staff to bring them their check, it can disrupt the flow of the restaurant. With Toast, restaurants can increase efficiency. More and more restaurants are adding additional tables for their customers for a better experience. Many of them are located outdoors to let people enjoy fresh air, which speeds up the process. So the efficiency is there. It's just a matter of adding more restaurants and helping them navigate the environment they're still in, we find ourselves in. Yeah, this was a great point. From the earnings call and toast, we see their partnership with restaurants and hotels. We think that this is indicative of an expansion of their customer base from resorts to hotels themselves. They brought in into other businesses such that they have a partnership with Jamba Juice. It's good to see them branching out more on the front. But on the other side of the spectrum, we have Olo. This is a toast competitor here. That stock is getting slaughtered in the pre-market and we would believe that this is because of this market move. The Olo app has a technology that lets restaurants make digital orders easily. A lot of restaurants don't have the technology needed to do this well, which can lead to unhappy customers. The Olo app can be used for all of these types of ordering, through the drive through or delivery. Olo has been doing very well lately, with 600 brands and 82,000 locations using the company's tools. Olo also has impressive revenue growth rates for the next 3 to 4 years, as much as 67%. One possible reason Olo has seen such astounding success is the company's unique marketing strategy. It targets enterprises and sells at the corporate level. Once it gets headquarters on board, the other locations follow suit, at little or no cost to Olo. This strategy has resulted in relatively low spending. In the second quarter of 2022, only 20% of Olo's revenue was spent on marketing, much lower than the 38% spent on research and development. The Olo stock was hammered by more than 30% 
with their shares down by almost 10%. They had a slight outlook change for their profits this year, which led to an increase in the stock price. So, it looks like this is an overreaction. However, it was a bad day for all of it was a great day to be toast. This means the total revenue has increased 69% year over year, totaling $69 million. Gross profits have also risen 10%, totaling $31.4 million. In regards to platform revenue, which is an important factor in Olo's business model, there has seen an increase of 29% between this time last year and now, coming in at 44.5 million pounds. Olo has been losing cash despite its low spending. Olo's negative free cash flow is $6.8 million, and it only has $387 million in cash available. The company should be able to continue burning money for a while before it becomes a serious issue. Olo's unique and fast-adopted sales model is paying off with a higher growth. Additionally, Olo services can be used by any restaurant chain to increase its usage of the services, allowing Olo to profit even more while expanding along with chains. Olo's product suite is the same class as Toast, but Toast wider product suite might be a reason why they top Olo. So, which is better to buy? Furthermore, Olo will be more profitable than its counterpart as it utilizes more creative tactics. Olo is currently a much smaller company in terms of revenue but will continue to grow. When looking at the money spent on sales, Olo spends much less per dollar generated. Additionally, while already unprofitable, Olo will have time to become profitable before money starts becoming spent quickly. We should also consider valuation though. Toast seems more overpriced because it's cheaper for a company to buy Toast rather than Olo. On a price-to-sales basis, Olo seems more reasonable at 10 times gross profit versus Toast which is 26 times gross profit. We think that Olo has a better outlook for long-term success. They use their unique sales strategy to create stronger relationships with restaurant providers, which in turn generates more business for the company. In summary, we've all come to expect a new customer experience. We either order from one of the local restaurants or make our way back in person to really give these small businesses our business. We understand that it may be inconvenient to hold up a phone to view the menu. It's important for people in your restaurant to be able to pick up the menus and we are willing to wait longer during peak hours in order not to inconvenience others. That's it for this video, Fortune Fast Laner. Remember to subscribe to our channel and if you feel like we've delivered value, please share this video with one person. That's right. Just one person is a token of your appreciation for the hard work we put into making content that educates and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. Remember, you can watch video after video but it isn't until you actually take action that you'll start to see results. See you soon!